Um, so as as many people are aware, uh, I died, and I died of the only death that really matters, which is I got banned from Twitter. Allow me to explain what happened. Um, after I put out some banger tweets, uh, shaking the, the the system to the core, I told an old lady um, who was British and born in 1965, saying that her father was a hero for landing on Normandy. I told her that she was a disgusting boomer and that the day that the boomers all dropped dead, we could start repairing our countries. This was considered glorifying violence, according to the Twitter customer support team. So I am permanently suspended. Um, that is what happened. Now, if that was the actual justification for it, or if that's just like their excuse after the Finster shit, I don't know. I'm going to appeal it forever. I'm going to, I literally every day I send them an appeal. And at this point I'm just sending like, Hey, how you doing? Just want to give you an update. You know, my day was pretty good. That's literally what I'm submitting. And I'm going to make it a facet of these streams. At the end, on top of the Reddit segment, we will have the Twitter appeal segment where I write my appeal to Twitter, and I will do this live every single stream until I am unbanned or until they block my ability to do this. Uh, this will continue on for as long as it needs to until I win. Okay, um, so that's the first update. The second update is I can't give updates. This is the frustrating thing, and um, I, when I get my account back, and I will... Uh, I will simply use it to announce things, and I won't talk to people ever again. Um, because, like, losing my my D, like, not only are my DMs like, not, I can't continue my conversations. I can't even see them. So all the conversations I've had are gone. If you've contacted me with information, it's fucking gone. Uh, if I was contacting somebody and having a conversation with somebody very busy about maybe doing a stream appearance, oh, that's just gone. My tweets don't even, like, my DMs don't even show up on their system. So if they're like, hey, I was talking to some guy about, like, a stream appearance. <laughs> hmm, I don't see the DM. That's weird. Like, it'll just disappear from their memory forever. This is how these things work. And it's kind of fucking insidious that they just say, oh, you're not a person anymore. Sorry. Um... And I, I honestly, I thought that the shit would be different because if I was Elon, why would you not just give like you want people to come back to your platform? Just give like like how many like every time someone says, OK, oh, Gabe Hoffman got suspended for the same thing because he's told Vito the pedo, Christopher Giswaldi, an actual pedophile that he should kill himself by hanging himself. He got suspended. So you can't say anything even like nominally violent. Like you have to pretend that life and death are just a a a. a uh, non-factor in our existence and we should never address them ever because that might be in glorifying violence um, so I, I was pretty angry and I was having a shit week um, for various reasons and I, and I just I didn't want to stream on Friday so I just canceled I was like fuck it I don't want to stream um, and I was very angry and I think that the reason why the X thing tipped me off or pissed me off um, was, was first off let me clarify a lot of people seem to think that the X ban was in and of itself what was like extremely frustrating to me, and it's not. This was not my emotional state as uh, after my ban. Okay, this was not. This was not me. God, wow! I fucking hate my life, right, dude? I literally want to die, dude. Oh my god, dude! No way, man. Man, I want to die. I want to die. A lot of people seem to think that, no, not having a Twitter account was the end of it. I'm, I'm just done. No, that's not what happened, okay? Give me, give me some confidence. Give me some confidence, okay? Uh, I think it, what tipped me over about it was that I realized that, in a way, I will never benefit from any sort of progress. I feel like I, I, I will always be the odd one out. And it's like, it's kind of weird when you have like open pedophiles and you have like Nick Fuentes and you have all these fucking assholes on, on X, but it is I, it is I am the one who gets mass reported by eight different groups of people at this point. And I'm the one that doesn't ever get to benefit or profit like indirectly or directly from anything that happens. Um, and, and that really, it really pissed me off. And then a lot of people. It got it got very gloaty. It got very gloaty. Not just the people who like Patrick Tomlinson saying, "Oh, stalker child, it appears you're having a bad day." <laughs> Not just those kind of people, but people on the forum and stuff. The depressedoids came out and said, "Oh, Josh, you must be feeling quite mm, depressed. Not in your hands anymore, is it? Just, just feel feel better, Josh. Just decide to be less angry." And then I I um. I want to I want to differentiate between depression and anger. De depression is a mental block towards numbing yourself to the feeling of anger. Anger, I believe, is very healthy. You're meant to be angry. When something happens that upsets you, you are supposed to feel angry. 
because anger is productive. Depression is not productive. When you shut yourself off to feeling angry because you can't responsibly handle it, you become depressed. And that is a non-productive form of emotional instability. When you are angry, you can become productive, chat. How? What kind of productive, per se? Let's see. Maybe I've had a plan to take a train ride out of the country and buy an expensive piece of equipment and then pay or force some the 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 commie block maintenance man with a hundred dollars and a bottle of vodka to go onto the roof and install my piece of equipment. Perhaps I've done that. Perhaps I've gone out and I bought a Starlink and in uh, it must have been 100 degree fucking heat. Climb up to the fucking roof with this giant ass satellite dish and pay somebody to wrench it onto a pipe in the middle of summer fucking heat. Maybe when you're angry, that's what you do. And that is why you're now watching this stream at 1080p because I fucking did that. I went out and I made my weekend productive and now we have a Starlink to stream with. Chat. Now we have actual internet. So... No longer am I stealing the kebab shop Wi-Fi. I have paid hundreds and hundreds of fucking dollars and found a random ass house on the border to make my official address for service so we can now connect to the satellites and Elon Musk will still assist me in getting my voice out no matter what. If he likes it or not, it's happening. This is what we're doing. Okay, so I channel my anger productively. Now I feel better because... Who would have thought being productive is, is the answer to these things? Um, there is... There's more. There's something else. Okay, um, in regards to the, the Twitter DMs that I have, if you are the Tennessee guy who I was talking to about the thing, you need to get back in touch with me. If you know who you are, you corrected me. I thought it was over. I thought it was Jover, and you said, actually, Josh, it's not fucking Jover. This is possible. I just have to think about it. If you're that guy, our DM go chain is gone forever. Uh, you have to email me. Matt at the internet, protonmail.com. Easiest, shortest email in the world. Email me. Um, also, update on the body cam footage. I didn't get to say this, but I did announce it on Twitter. Or we have four signed, noted affidavits. If you're one of those attorneys and you want your name to show up on the affidavit to have the the, the omnibus hearing with Rakeda in August streamed, and you want your affidavit to show up on the um, the Wall of Heroes, make sure you get your notarized copy to um, to Harden because there are, I think there's like six people. Four of them have signed, including Sean and uh, Legal Mindset, but there are six people who promised. And got into contact and haven't submitted their notarized. You have to do it this week. We're submitting it on Friday. Uh, so get that in. Um, and in regards to the body cam footage, we contacted them last week. They responded and said they would have an answer within 10 days. So we're still waiting on that. should be this week, I'm pretty sure, or next Monday by the latest. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.